Mr. President, thanks for speaking with the Voice of American News. Thank you. Um, how did your meeting go with President Obama and were your expectations met? Well, I'm grateful that uh, President Obama invited me and uh, since we met at uh, G7 in Germany last month, where he extended the invitation, I came and uh, um, he clearly you knows the problems in Nigeria uh, about the insecurity in the country, the problem of the economy, unemployment, and uh, the corruption in the country. And uh, he made the undertaking that uh, as soon as we can produce the necessary documents that will give the legal backing to the recovery, once it's traced to the United States, the United States government will cooperate. I don't think I can get a better assurance than that. Mr. President, when you came into office, you said the coffers of the Nigerian kitty was empty. How do you intend to recoup monies siphoned out of the country? Because reports say about $150 billion have been siphoned out of the country within the last 10 years. Well, it's not busy. We have to trace it uh, and get the documents. Uh, both for shipping of the illegal crude, uh, the, its destinations, which accounts uh, the payments were accredited, uh, and then identify the people responsible, both in the system, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, uh, and those uh, that ordered it. Uh, that means the uh, uh, the technocrats uh, and the politicians that are responsible for for this diversion, and of course the out, uh, outright theft of public funds, either through inflating contracts or doubling it. Um, so the most important thing for us is to try and get those documents so that uh, final prosecution will be possible, because. Uh, we don't want uh, this uh, serious uh, uh, recovery of uh, stolen money to be reduced to token uh, assignment. We have to get the documents, we have to identify the persons, and we then start the process of prosecution.